to my channel. So today we're coming to you fresh faced and super duper relaxed because I have just completed my pamper routine. So it's one of those routines that I do not that often. It's just sort of like I do a whole bunch of face masks and pedicures, manicures, things that make me feel a bit better about myself. But I don't usually have time for. So if you want to see what my pamper routine is and it's pretty affordable too, it's nothing extravagant, just keep watching. Something I love to do is light incense sticks in my room and my whole house because it just sort of sets the mood of relaxation. It always reminds me of meditating and that just completely chills me out. Then of course I chuck on my comfiest pyjamas. These are just some funny ones that I love. Due to my job I have to wear my hair up in a very high or tight bun every day. So just that feeling of taking the bun out and then brushing my hair is amazing. And then of course giving my head like and scalp a massage with my fingertips and sort of nails it's just it just releases every sort of tension in my body and makes me feel so much more relaxed i'm just going to chuck a hair mask in because it really wouldn't be a pamper routine without one this is just the uh macadamia hair mask and i just put it in the mid to lengths of my hair and just chuck my hair into a bun and i'm just going to wash that out whenever we need to Then I like to move into my bathroom. I have already removed all of my makeup and I'm just dampening my skin with a wet towel. The exfoliator we'll be using today is my current favourite which is the ASAP Daily Exfoliating Scrub. It's really really gentle but very very effective. So I go quite hard and quite a lot of this because I do have that sort of like oily build up from my job that needs to get broken down otherwise I get some serious blackheads and congestion all the time. So after I have scrubbed that into my skin really well, I like to let that sit and the chemicals do its thing for about a minute. And then I just remove it with the same face wash we used before. This does leave my skin a little bit red, but it does fade away and I feel so much smoother afterwards. The first mask I will be using is the Origins Clear Improvement Mask. I'm just using this over my major blackhead and problem areas, which is my nose, my upper cheeks, chin, and of course forehead. The other sections of my face I'll be using the L'Oreal Paris Red Algae Mask because this pulls out and refines any texture which I have along that specific area of my face. After I do that I just sort of let it sit until we're ready to jump into the shower. Another relaxing part of my day is of course saying hello to my cats and they're so cute. To do my pedicure I actually like to do a DIY foot scrub, it just involves granulated sugar or salt and a bag of peppermint tea. The peppermint tea also assists in the exfoliation process, but it smells good and has a sort of cooling and soothing sensation to it. After I've just scrubbed my feet, I then go in with a pumice stone because I have some really bad calluses that I'd like to take care of. After my foot is pretty much grated away, I like to go in with my cuticle pusher and just erase all the cuticles and dead skin on my actual toenails. Then of course I dry them off so we can walk to the bathroom so I can do my fingernails. I just start off with hot water or warm water and just scrub my nails to soften the whole area and then I remove any sort of nail polish or debris with this amazing invention. It's just a nail polish remover. It's great. The satisfying part of this video is definitely this clip. I love looking at these, <laughs> just removing the cuticles and dead skin. Because I do have hangnails from my job, I just clip them off so it makes it easier and then I go in with just a gentle file and just shape and shorten my actual nails themselves. I don't really wear colour on my nails very often but I do like to wear this Essence uh, Ultra Hardening top coat. It's just really solid, it strengthens my nails and it's very very shiny. Time to jump into the shower and I just remove this mask just with a face towel again. It's very very refreshing after it comes off and my skin looks actually really good after that. I know it sounds gross but I don't get to wash my hair very often so when I do it's actually a really nice process. I always double wash with a shampoo and then I just use the conditioner on the lengths of my hair but as the conditioner sits in my hair I like to give myself another scalp massage because it is so relaxing. Now going in with this amazing lime scented body wash I just wash my body and just do the normal processes like shaving and stuff like that. For skincare I'll be using my Antipods 
uh, Manuka Honey Eye Cream. This is actually very, very expensive for drugstore. It's about $50, which is ridiculous, but it's very, very luxurious and very hydrating. For a much more affordable option, I love this night cream from Glow Lab. It's a very luxurious feeling without the price tag. I just apply a generous amount to my face, neck and decolletage area and rub that in just so it absorbs nearly fully. But then after I do that, I just like to grab my fingertips and sort of do this uh, finger dance all over my face. It's very relaxing and I feel like it helps. I don't know, it just helps. Then of course some lip balm because I have dry lips. My favourite part of my day is just crawling into bed and just chilling out, deciding whether I want to watch Supernatural or Daria. The biggest option of my day is that. There you go guys, that was today's video of my pamper routine. Remember, pamper routines are done whenever you like. I don't do them that often because I'm very lazy, but when I, after I do do them, I feel so much better. Oh, I love pampering myself, it's great. And it's a lot more affordable than going to a salon or anything like that. If you did like this video, smash that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.